Hey YouTube, this is the DBG33K, and today I'm going to show you how to get emulators on your uh, Android devices. Uh, I'm going to show you using a T-Mobile, uh, the Motorola Click, um, using specifically uh, the SNES OID. Uh, so this is going to allow you to emulate Super Nintendo games. Alright, so first thing you're going to need to do is go into the marketplace and search for this here SNES OID. Um, I believe it's about $2.99 for the full version and um, it's for free for the light version. The, light, the only difference between the two is that um, you don't have save states. You can save your game if the game has a built-in save feature but you can't save just like wherever you want Oops, if, uh, if the game itself wouldn't let you. Whereas if you get the pro version you can save at any moment you want. Even like in a loading screen or something obscure like that. So once you have it, you can go into the program. Uh, these are some ROMs that I've already loaded on here, but when you first get the uh, emulator, you probably won't have any ROMs. Um, and you can easily grab some by using... Um, you can use ROM Buddy, but that's a $3 um, extra app. Um, but you can hit Search ROMs, and it should take you um, to a site or you can search for specific ROMs. Now keep in mind that um, downloading ROMs is not legal if you have not owned the game. Um, all the ROMs that I have are games that I owned back when I had a Super Nintendo, so it's not illegal for me to download them. Uh, if you've never owned the games and you're downloading them for free, then it is illegal. Um, but So then over here, you can select um, you know, what kind of ROMs you want, for what systems, um, we're going to keep it selected at um, Super Nintendo because that is the emulator we have chosen. I'm um, going to look for, I don't know, see if it comes up with any Dragon Ball games. Uh, that's an import game, but it should work the same. Search, and then it'll do that for you. Okay, let's see if I found anything. Hyperdimension, that sounds good. Um, now this doesn't just search one site, it actually is, um, it searches multiple sites, so it's not just going to look, you know, in one database, it's going to look in the database of many sites, uh, which is nice, because sometimes you'll find that certain sites have been, you know, notified, like, oh, um, you know, the creators of it were like, we don't like you doing this, so you have to stop or else we'll take the site down, so then they don't, you know, then they take the, it off their site, um, whereas sometimes the copyright police don't get to other sites and that kind of stuff. So click here to start download. Click it going save as that. It's a dot z. Uh, sorry, seven z. Um, that means it is a zip file. It's a, it's just like a zip file, so it's um, zipped. Um, yes, open downloads page. Hmm, yeah, go ahead, I guess. So that just shows me that it has downloaded and it's complete, uh, but it is in a uh, zipped folder. And in order to um, to be able to open it, we need to use a uh, a, um, a program called AndroZip. Um, I just have the free one, um, so it's going to be ad supported, but I don't really care about that. Um, it does the same stuff. Um, I've actually never used this interface of it. I might use an older one. Um, Hmm. Excuse me here, because I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. Um, just gonna go back out here and pull up Androzip. Androzip is right there at the top. Go ahead and use that. Um, and then you can pull up, you know, different folders you have. I believe it went to the download or downloads folder. Not sure which one. We'll just check them both. Download. Uh, Hyperdimension. There it is. Dragon Ball Z Hyperdimension. That's one I just downloaded. Um, I'm going to say Extract 2. I have a folder that's... Um, what? Hmm. Okay, hold on. So then I have a folder that is um, that I've named Games, and that's where I have... Um, my Super Nintendo emulator 
look for my games right in there. So extract here. So that's unpacking the the file. Um, please wait, please wait, please wait. Hmm. It's taking quite a while. I don't really know why it's taking this long. I've never experienced uh, this much wait time. Um, but yes, there are other um, emulators such as SNES-OID. Uh, SNES-OID emulates Super Nintendo games. You can also get NES-OID, which, as uh, the name suggests, um, emulates NES games. They also have, I think, Gen Soid, which is uh, Genesis games. Oh, there it is, um, and Game Boy, which um, does Game Boy and Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games. Okay, let's get over here. Now we'll open up SNESOID, and it should have put it into this list. There it is, Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension, um, in there. Dot SMC. So let's go ahead and open it up and see how it plays. If it plays, um, close. That might be the wrong file. Oh wow, it gave me a couple of things. Um, okay, so it looks like some of them might be hacked or modified versions of the uh, ROM. So I'm gonna just see if I can get the um, clean one. That's this is irritating. Okay, okay. It's a little J, it means it's in Japanese. Come on. Alright. Not working, not working. <clears throat> no. Oops. Okay, well, so it looks like for this particular thing, come on, one more chance. Let's give one more chance to do this. Okay, it's looking like it's not one, wanting to work for this one, and that'll happen sometimes. Um, not all ROMs are um, created equal. Sometimes they don't work. Sometimes you have to go download them from a different site. Um, but I'll show you one that does work. Illusion of Gaia is a great game. Um, so it loads right up. Right now I have it set. See, this is the game itself. Uh, I have it set to be almost full screen. You can set different settings for how much of the screen you want it to take up. Um, then you can go in your settings, have your load, save. Um, a new feature they have now is net play, so if you have any games that I guess they make it so you can play online, that's really cool. Um, here's some, go to the settings. Um, you can change the input settings, like so for the um, Motorola Click, we have physical buttons. So I have it currently set to be, it, be able to use the buttons um, in order to do stuff in the game. But for many of you uh, Droid or Android users who have uh, just touch screens, you can select virtual keypad and then it will put that on the screen itself. So, okay, so it says to point to mode. Um, there's also a way to set it to landscape mode. Um, let's see if I can't get that going. Hold on. Settings, input. settings. Depend buttons layout. Okay. Um I know within there there's a way to change it and make it so maybe in other settings. Orientation, there you go. Um so make it landscape and then you can see that you can play it without using the keyboard. And you have your buttons up here to be able to move if you want, or press A. So like, oh. all right. So I need to do something in the game to move, but trust me, it works. Um, you can also, like you've seen early in the video, um, you can change the way this is set up. So you can have, you know, left and right triggers be on the top here, 
and have that be down there like it should be. Um, that kind of stuff. Yep. But yeah, so that's my little inside look on the um, Super Nintendo emulator, SNES-OID. Um, the other emulators work very similarly. Um, I'll put links, or maybe not links, but I'll put um, uh, you know, the names of the programs you'll need in order to get these uh, to function. So thanks for watching YouTube. Talk to you later.